take, I went ahead and wrote down the first problem for number four, um, just because I want to try to squeeze this in in five minutes. Uh, A was here. First thing I did was I subtracted three quarters from both sides. So nine eighths minus three quarters is how I got three eighths. And then to get rid of the multiply by one seventh, I multiplied three eighths by the reciprocal seven over one, which is would be similar to dividing by one seventh if you went that route. But you would get twenty one over eight or two and five eighths for part A. All right. So let's jump right into B. B says uh, two thirds plus one fifth x equals five six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out what one fifth x is worth by knocking this two thirds off. Now two thirds is equivalent to four six. So when I subtract four six from five six, I get one six. And then to get x by itself, I could divide by one fifth on both sides, or I could multiply one sixth by one fifth's reciprocal, like this. And that would tell me that x is five six done. Let's go on to C. Uh, 3 halves is equal to 4 thirds x plus 2 thirds. Alright, first of all we want to get rid of the 2 thirds, so we subtract it from over here. So we want to do 3 halves minus 2 thirds. Uh, so really want to get these into sixths. So think of this, well, Let's just save top here instead of talking through that. Let's we'll just take away. So 3 halves, 3 over 2, and then let's uh, subtract the 2 thirds. 2 thirds. When you do that subtraction, you get 5 6. Alright, so 5 6. And like we've been doing this entire time, to get rid of 4 thirds, multiply, we can find x by simply doing 5 6 multiplied by 4 thirds reciprocal common factors so you get 5 over 8 x is 5 8 pretty easy once you get it in that that form where you just gotta multiply by the reciprocal alright and then part d so d comes along with a bunch of decimal work 3 tenths x plus 7.9 equals 9.1. So let's find out what 3 tenths x is worth. So we do 90, think of like 91 minus 79. Okay, there, and the, the difference is 12, right? So 1.2. And then how many times? What times 3 is 12? You can think of it that way. So it'll be 4, right? And you want just one decimal move, so it is actually equal to 4. So x is 4 there on D. And then the last one, uh, 11, uh, E, 11.03 equals 8.78 plus 0 0.02x. So let's find out what 2 hundredths x is worth by finding the difference between these two numbers first. So 11.03. Oh, too many ones there at the beginning. 11.03. We subtract 8.78. And that gives us 2 and a quarter. So 2 and a quarter. And now we just got to divide that by 2 hundredths. So x will equal that uh, division of 2 and a quarter by two hundredths, which we can show on the calculator. Point zero oh two, and that turns out to be one twelve and a half. Twelve point five, and there we go. And that's your homework for this week, guys. I'm sorry it took me a little while to get it all posted for you.